The Andromeda galaxy has been visible to the naked eye, given dark skies, throughout history. As such, it cannot be said to have been discovered by any one individual. Around the year 964, the Persian astronomer Abd al Rahman al Sufi was the first to formally describe the Andromeda galaxy. He referred to it in his Book of Fixed Stars as a nebulous smear, or small cloud. Star charts of that period labeled it as the Little Cloud. In 1612, the German astronomer Simon Marius gave an early description of the Andromeda galaxy based on telescopic observations. Pierre Louis Maupichus conjectured in 1745 that the blurry spot was an island universe. In 1764, Charles Messier catalogued Andromeda as object M31 and incorrectly credited Marius as the discoverer. Despite its being visible to the naked eye, in 1785, the astronomer William Herschel noted a faint reddish hue in the core region of Andromeda. He believed Andromeda to be the nearest of all the great nebulae. And based on the color and magnitude of the nebula, he incorrectly guessed that it was no more than 2,000 times the distance of Sirius, or roughly 18,000 light years. 5. 5 kpc. In 1850, William Parsons, 3rd Earl of Ross, made the first drawing of Andromeda's spiral structure. In 1864, William Huggins noted that the spectrum of Andromeda differed from that of a gaseous nebula. The spectrum of Andromeda displays a continuum of frequencies, superimposed with dark absorption lines that help identify the chemical composition of an object. Andromeda's spectrum is very similar to the spectra of individual stars. And from this, it was deduced that Andromeda has a stellar nature. In 1885, a supernova, known as S. Andromedae, was seen in Andromeda, the first and so far only one observed in that galaxy. At the time it was called, Nova 1885, the difference between, Novi, in the modern sense and, Supernovae was not yet known. Andromeda was considered to be a nearby object, and it was not realized that the, Nova, was much brighter than ordinary Novi. In 1888, Isaac Roberts took one of the first photographs of Andromeda, which was still commonly thought to be a nebula within our galaxy. Roberts mistook Andromeda and similar, spiral nebulae, as star systems being formed. In 1912, Vesto Slipher used spectroscopy to measure the radial velocity of Andromeda with respect to the solar system, the largest velocity yet measured. At 300 kilometers per second, 190 miles per second, 